Well, in third position after the vault and the P-bars is Toro Nova Scotia's Chris Burley. Now he's on the high bar and he's strong on this event. He doesn't have the high flying release moves like some of the guys, but he has intricate pirouette work, a lot of in-bar work. Here's his release to Kachev with good amplitude today, good airtime. Now this is where he gets his bones. Beautiful in-bar work. Stalders in the pipe position, hops through, endos right into a heel turn. The judges are very impressed by intricate pirouettes. And Burley always has such great execution, great form. The judges can't really find a deduction. Now his start value is a little lower, but that is bang on. Well, a stuck landing for Chris Burley of Canada, and he appears to have it going throughout this all-around competition. He's through three apparatus. And that's the key, Scott. Burley won't get a big, big score, but if he can stay above 9-0 across the board, he's going to be there for a medal. Watch his handwork. Beautiful pirouettes. High-flying Tkachev. Perfect execution. The legs never bend. There are no deductions. But this is the best part of all. Yegor Klesnikov steps in to spot the full-twisting double back. Burley is right on. This Burley in tremendous shape, has a tremendous physique, and always brings out big tricks for the Canadian team. The question has been whether he can land those big tricks. And throughout this competition, it appears to be yes today. There's his score, an 8.95, and as you say, the big release moves were not there.